when I looked at your slide deck where you spoke about your art, you mentioned that you try personifying what the client really is. And, and I think that's not an easy thing to pick up, right? What, is, what are the emotions, the colors you associate with a particular client? So, I mean, right after university, there are, it seems like you live two different lives, Kritika, and they both ran parallelly, you know, your, your life as a professional abstract artist, but also your life in terms of, you know, all the professional organizations you were associated with. I can, you know, maybe we can divide this discussion into like two halves and I'd maybe like to start with the art because we're already there. Okay. Um, um, let me just see if I can share um, a couple of uh, Kritika's paintings from her collection. So I'm just gonna share my screen because I think it'll give the viewers an understanding of, you know, some of the work you've already done. And I'll also talk a little bit about one of my favorite artworks and why I like it, so. Oh yes, please, that'd be great. Awesome. In the meantime, I can show the one at the back, which <laughs> I'm oh, just yeah. trying to fill in the gap. <laughs> Perfect. Can you see the screen, Kritika? Absolutely. Okay, so that's Kritika's profile. I'm just going to go into, so here is uh, one of her collections called the Merck Collection. Am I saying that right, Kritika? Absolutely, yes. Perfect. So here are two artworks from that. As you can see, her the way she combines colors in such a magical way, I think it's just amazing. And you can look at each one for such a long time and just stare at it and get so many different associations with it. So this one's called Dark Decisions and that's Unorthodox Flora. Um, here are two other paintings from the same collection. Um, I'm going to scroll down and then we can talk about a couple of them if you want to, Kritika, because I'm sure there's a story behind each painting and, you know, I'm curious about some of those emotions and, you know, the experiences that led to it. Now, my favorite painting is in this collection, the Cerulean okay. collection. Yes. And um, the Lagoon and the Rust, but it's this painting, Beyond the Stars, because ah. I'm, I'm really passionate about astronomy and, you know, just, you know, like astrophysics in general, but astronomy, just looking up at the sky and thinking about, you know, there is so much beyond this planet. And, and yeah. when I look at that painting, I think that can be a galaxy with all those little planets. And, and mm -hmm. it seems like such a beautiful like background, but that, that, that blue, I mean, the, the color in the back, I think Cerulean is a color. And I'm also curious about how you name your collections, Kritika, because I know um, like Fuchsia, which was your last collection, is based on a flower that is popular in New Zealand and America, but it's also a color that's um, a shade of red and purple. And, yeah. and, and cerulean is a is sort of a color that's a shade of blue, it's azura and a couple of other things. And then yeah. murk, I mean, technically the word possibly means some sort of mist or fog, but yeah. I, I, I think there are elements of all of it in your paintings, but just to give the viewers an understanding of, of the form of art you create, which um, you would define as abstract art. Would that be fair to say, Kritika? Absolutely, yeah. Wonderful, okay. So I'm gonna stop sharing and get back to Kritika, the artist in front of you. There is a painting right behind you as well. So that's yeah. another one we can see, but um, yeah. tell us a little bit about abstract art, Kritika, for the people that are not familiar with it. How would you sort of share your understanding of abstract art? And then maybe tell us the story behind a couple of paintings that you feel really strongly about. Yeah. Okay, so abstract art is it was mainly about like abstract expressionism. So it's about I think it's like an American movement where people were just trying to break the mold and they were just trying to be like different and they're trying to express themselves. That's why it's called like abstract expressionism, where you're like literally trying to express yourself through your art. And it was it was mainly not to be confined by the lines and like you know all the other things which people do it absolutely beautifully and. There's certain things that I thought I can never do that. And it's just amazing to see how people just like use their talents and their abilities. And I, for a fact, was really discouraged at first thinking, mm -hmm. how am I not able to do that? And why do I always color outside the lines when I was growing up? In fact, I still remember this. When I was in kindergarten, I had a teacher called Mrs. Sharma, I'm never going to forget her, absolutely loved her to pieces. So Mrs. Sharma told us to, you know, just draw whatever we want to draw and then they would stick it up on the wall. <laughs> this is funny because I know what's on the cover. Yeah. And I remember going into a parent-teacher's meeting, had mom and dad there, 
And she told me, I didn't want to put this on the wall. I still remember this as a little kid. I didn't want to put this on the wall, but I had to. But yeah, in the end, it, it looks good. It looks good. So it was a painting of like just grassland with one big sunflower in the middle. Wow. But every petal of the sunflower was a different color. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So this was kindergarten, yeah. right? So I didn't even realize that until later in time. And I was reflecting, thinking, why do I do this? Why do I paint something but put different colors into it? So even if I go for a particular like shape or if I'm sketching and then, but you see if I like have, I've done one of my paintings, I don't know if it's in the collection there or not, but it was just, it was just a beautiful sunset. And I, I just didn't leave the sun just like, like bright red and I went yellow, orange and the tree was black and then green. And I was like, why am I doing this? Like, why? I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, why am I doing this? And I thought, no, if it means that I get to put a part of my identity as a stamp onto that painting, mm -hmm. why not? 